Hey guys, welcome back. This is Zard, and we're in Guild Wars 2. Look at this face. <laughs> oh god. Uh, this is what I uh, what I love the most about uh, this race here. The, the just, I think I did a good job in making it worse. Uh, so that's my guy. You know what I thought? Uh, I thought it would feel like I ran faster, but it doesn't. It, it really doesn't. For some reason, and that scrolling thing here is very strange. No, so anyway, I made an engine here just to play around a bit, and um, it's going to be a little bit of a talkative episode as usual. But uh, my plan uh, in this beta weekend was to um, to make one of those rather comprehensive uh, comparison videos. Between Guild Wars competent. 2 here, maybe you, not me, no, and uh, the Secret World. Now, I had uh, from the previous beta weekends, I had saved up some, uh, or had you leveled up a few classes to, uh, uh, as far as I could, anyway. Uh. What? What the? Uh. Oh yeah. <laughs> ah, this pierce. Anyways, yeah. So I had saved up. Uh, I had uh, leveled up for a while, and some of you have seen those videos. And um, they deleted it, or they uh, they did the reset on on all your progress. So I no longer have those. I I, I don't have anything that I had in the previous betas. That kind of messed up my plan a little bit because, primarily, that the the main thing that I wanted to to get some footage of that I lack is any Rage kind of maximum. group content, um, in the sense of dungeons or you know organized group content as opposed to these uh, random joining events that you find all over the place here normally. Um, so that's the reason why I don't feel right doing it at the moment, doing one of those videos, because I don't really have, well, I have a bit more, or I would say, at this point in time, I have a reasonably good experience level or understanding of the secret world, not so much with Guild Wars 2. So... It wouldn't really be fair to do it. It would probably get a lot of views if I just put up a comparison video right now. But it wouldn't really be fair to uh, to Guild Wars, I think. And not long term for my channel either, I think, if I just did those kind of videos just for the views. So I'm probably going to do one of those videos, but it won't be during this beta. It will be after Guild Wars is released, shortly after. Uh, but not right now. I will however spend this episode comparing a few of them um, to the best of my knowledge as we do them but uh, not one of those hyper informative ones so there'll be a bit of a discussion and I hope that from this video that you will get some comments here on, uh, on the things that I have misunderstood as usual so that we are sure to get it right in the final video that comes out um, after release the 28th of August I think it is and um, probably I will do one in the beginning of the month after. Um, and I'll be sure to get it, make it very informative for anyone that doesn't know either of the game that well. Alright, so... I'm in sort of like the second zone, so to say, I think. Like, step two. You begin over here. You've done all the... I don't know, <laughs> hearts, hubs, what should we call them? Um, and now I'm looking for a skill challenge. And there's one. So we're gonna head up there. Oop. Don't know if I'm really high enough level. I'm level 8 with this guy, I've just been playing a little bit. Um, I really wanted to do one of those videos though. Uh, I, I did, but it's. Uh, you know, it needs to, you need to get it right, or I feel like I do. I don't want to do, you know, there, it's it's easy to get hits on YouTube, 
but it's not so easy to get that person that came to your channel to come back again if they if you just got that hit because of a s sneaky title and uh it's a lot, of, a lot to do with with timing, so of course, yeah, it would be good for my channel to uh, to get one of those videos out now, because a lot of people will be searching for that to see which of the games will they be buying. But hopefully, those same people that do that research beforehand uh, will hold off for a few days after it's released, so I have time to make one of those videos anyway. Uh, how do I get in there, though? Mm. Through the river, maybe? Oh yeah. So I'm using a rifle now with this guy. Um, so that's one of the things we can talk about. Uh, not really comparing it, but then yeah, a little bit still. You know, in like these two games, Guild Wars 2 and uh, and The Secret World, they're really so incredibly different that the only reason to compare them at all is because they're coming out, they're like the two biggest titles coming out for the foreseeable future um, and pretty close to one another in the MMORPG genre that is um, so yeah, skill points is just one of the you know, huge differences between them you know, in Secret World, it's very much, you know, like, uh, you can keep going and leveling for skills alone, to unlock more skills, like, skills and skills and skills and skills and set up new builds, and you can have all the skills in the game on one character, or you probably will, eventually, anyway. Mm. In the Secret World, that is. And this is... While it might seem similar in many ways, uh, it's absolutely the complete opposite this year. Um, in my experience, like I have, you know, weapon skills that it is called here. I have all of them. I'm, I'm level eight. I have all of them. The weapon skills, not all the skills total, because, you know, see. So look here. Just trying to not get killed while I do this. In uh, the Secret World, you have that skill wheel where you can unlock and unlock and unlock and unlock. And uh, and here, basically, you know, you pick up a weapon, you equip it if you can equip it, if your class can equip it. Uh, yeah, this has classes. Secret World doesn't. But if you can equip it, you know, you put it on, and if you fire it for a bit, I guess, like uh, three or four. Or if you use that weapon for one level, you should have unlocked every, everything, even in the low levels. I mean, like level three, four, that around there, you should have unlocked all the skills for that weapon. Which I have now for pistols, which is dual pistol uh, here, rifle, shield, and harpoon gun, which is the underwater version for uh, the engineer, I guess. If it's not uh, if it's not race based, I'm not sure. It's pretty cool actually. The harpoon here, it's it's more of a torp <laughs> torpedo and uh, mines and stuff like that. I'm not sure if it's an engineer thing or a a Sura thing, the race, but it's cool nonetheless. Much cooler than uh, those spears that the other guys have. Um, so those are your weapon skills and engineers have very few. I have rifle, shield and pistol. That's it, you know, in addition to the, my underwater weapon. But then there is, of course, these slot skills, which you unlock after a while. And, uh, and oh, I have a lot of unspent ones here. Cool. I'm gonna spend those. Uh, and those will take a while to get all of them. But still, it's, um, it's nowhere near as time-consuming or well, basically, you're you're pretty much done with it pretty fast. The skills. In fact, I thought you you're you're done with it way too fast. So here you have all the skills, more or less, with the exception of a few that you'll get after a while. Even on the warrior, for instance, where you can pretty much use every weapon. You will have like pretty much every weapon in the game. You will have here, and you've unlocked those by level seven if you pick up the right weapons and and just use them when you're done unlocking one of them. 
it's too fast. It's too fast to be done with that because for me, in an MMORPG, skills is is like your your upgrade, is like your um, something you're looking forward to. Oh, I, I have to level a little bit more so I can get that skill unlocked. It looks really cool, that skill. And so on. And uh, it was like that for me here too in the previous beta until I reached like level 8 or 10. Can't remember. And I had everything. And then yeah, there was a few left that I could could grab, but, but still I thought I was done with it too fast. While as in the secret world, you just keep doing it. That's pretty much your only reason for leveling, is to unlock more and more and more and more skills. Um, or grinding, essentially. What was I doing here? I was looking for the skill challenge. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Yeah. So that's one major difference between them. Okay, there should be a skill challenge here-ish. There we go. Let's see what it does. It's very dark in this area. What do I do here? Uh, shoot it. Okay. <laughs> nice. Activate the panel. Uh. Oh. Dang it. Oh. Can't. Oh. Right. Mm. Okay. So. Well, I was level 11, I'm level 8. I'm gonna wait till someone... I'm gonna wait till someone else is here. Oh, so far to the checkpoint. I don't have it. Oh no! <laughs> oh, don't have anything nearby, I haven't run past it. Oh well. Alright, so the other main... What should you say? Main difference would be what you do as groups, I think, or I feel like it anyway, uh, while you're leveling. I'm not sure what you do, uh, you know, end game in either game really. I have a I have a sense of it in the in the secret world that there really isn't anything. Ex it's pretty much the same as you do while leveling, uh, as there really is no level cap in that sense. But in the secret world, all the while. As you level, you can uh, uh, you can join these instances with five other people. There's really nothing that you do there outside of instances that requires groups or even promotes grouping. Um, but it's pretty easily accessible five-man group content all through the leveling process. Um, and personally, I I probably did that more than I did questing. Intelligence? The Brill Alliance crew needs you. Um, and that starts off really early. Like, yeah, oh, a turret. Looks not like mine. I have a flame turret. Looks a bit like this. This is a machine gun, or a rifle turret. Cool, I want to get one of those. Actually, I can get one of those. I have the points. I need to check it out. Oh. Rifle turret. Confirm. Neat. Let's try it in combat. Against... IQ test subject? <laughs> Flamingo. The rifle turret. Is it turn? Hard to say, really. Alright, well, it shoots. It stays there forever, really. Really? Um, automatic fire? Oh, overcharge, detonate. Okay, the other turret uh, has a smoke screen, a defensive or a blind, really, around itself. Anyways, regarding the um, um, grouping, here it's very different. Here you come across all these events, dynamic events, all over the world, all the time, everywhere, and you just go there and participate, no matter how far along they are, 
or what they're doing, you just join in and do it. Um, so that's your grouping there, but you're not actually grouped and you're not really communicating much and until a little further into the game at the very least. Um, and what I've heard is that the first dungeon comes at level 30 out of 80 levels, I think it is. Uh, so it's pretty far until you actually get to participate in any of it. Uh, I don't think they're focused much on the PvE organized grouping anyways. And uh, I'm very curious as to how the lack of... Uh, the lack of the Holy Trinity system affects this game. In, the, in in terms of PvE content. So we'll see about that. Are they chasing me down again? Oh, yep, they are. I was hoping kind of that someone would come along here. But yeah, so those are like some major things that I, I really need to experience firsthand before I can uh, make a comparison video on it. Because uh, right now I'm, I'm, I belong to the to the faction. I would I would guess that have my doubts about how long how long I w I would at least play this game if there is no no real end game. I mean, you can make the argument that uh, yeah, people do make the argument. Yeah, you can go back and group with your friends because you will be down leveled or they will be like up leveled with a, like a sidekick system and those kind of things depending on where you are and experience stuff and me I, I you know that's all fine but at least for me and most people I know that play these kind of games we don't play it because we want to go and experience a particularly green hill somewhere that we haven't seen before we do it for, to progress and to build our characters. That's like that's the essence of an MMORPG. There are other factors, but those are bonuses. It's the same thing as with all the story stuff and whatnot that we've been discussing before. That's my opinion, but I, I don't want to. I don't want to say yes or no to whether this will work out before I've seen it myself, and I keep an open mind towards it. That's just my. That's just my default position. See if we can get a skill point here. Oh, uh, heal! Heal! Oh yeah, I did get it. Cool. All right, let's finish off this episode by demonstrating a few of the skills that we do have here. For those of you who haven't seen so much skills already, or haven't seen the uh, old episodes, I haven't actually played Engineer till now, so uh, we'll have a peek at that. I stumble into a random event here now, one of those I was just talking about. Uh, which is an escort. I'm not sure, there's the guy I'm supposed to escort. Uh, or a bunch of other people were escorting, I guess, is more correct. <laughs> it's very dark here, it's not optimal for filming. Let me, uh, you know, so many aspects I can compare, but I think those are the major ones, the ones we've been talking about. So I'm not going to talk about anything more about that in the, in this episode, at least. I'm probably going to in a later episode, but not the. Uh, this will not be my final say in the matter. <laughs> Let's. Uh, get this somewhere brighter. Actually, you know, this uh, this escort here is a perfect chance to demo something. I will explain this in a more detail later, but... Don't die. Um, can I change this? Oh, ah, uh, no! Heal up! Get out of combat. Um, grenades. Yeah, here's my grenades. Because I need some AoE. 
If you're new to this and you didn't just see what or see what I just did, don't worry. I'll uh, I'll I'll go through it in a bit. Just gonna I'd show like off to some grenades. Oh. And my college instructors. <laughs> Dang it! Oh well. All right. We're heading to brighter land to uh, to make a demonstration. Okay. So what I just did was in fact this here. One thing I had been wondering about, um, or that I didn't quite figure out, you know, I mentioned that the the warrior has pretty much every weapon type skill in the game, and I thought, well, so how does uh, how is that fair, <laughs> basically? Is that how do I only get three weapons and the warrior gets like 218? Um, and I've only have one skill so far to back up my claim here, but. You see this grenade here? If I use this... Now first of all, that gives me an extra ability up here, which I saw that some of the classes have much fewer skills up here. And so I'm, I'm guessing that the ones that has few weapon abilities get more of these skills, those F skills up here. Another thing is this, this grenade kit that it does is... If I do use it, See, it changes all my skills, so it's like a a weapon skill in and of itself. So now, on all my five skill slots, over here anyway, I have like a single target grenade, shrapnel grenade, uh, a flash grenade, and what was this? Freeze grenade, so I can slow things, and a poison grenade. Or a fairly large area. And they do pretty good damage. And I can use that instead of my weapon. Not sure really how stats affect this, but uh, but it seems to work out. Uh, in addition, I also have this up here. Like, even if I don't have it equipped, I still have this grenade barrage. Which is like this. The larger area one. And I always have that even though I don't have the... Yeah, have the uh, grenade kit active. So I guess that's what makes the difference. And um, I haven't really picked as many as I have points for yet. We can do that live, see what we get. I have taken the two turrets. Uh, I have to choose one since uh, only at level 10 will I get the possibility to have two things where I can have a turret and grenades for instance. And the rest of these things are elixirs or mines. Remote controlled landmine. Uh, utility goggles. Guess that could be practical. I'm looking if there's more things like this that changes all my skills. It doesn't look like it. Yeah. And this one I can't read yet until I have five of these here, so let's do that. Um, Fury Might, Retaliation, Swiftness. Quickness, a random utility buff. Oh, random utility buff. It's pretty cool. Let's let's try that. And goggles. Retaliation. If I'm tanking, I guess. Uh, I'll throw mine. No, I have so much grenades. No, I want to. I want. I want to mine. There we go. So now I have exactly three, so I can choose one from the second tier as well. This is what we have there. Net turret. Ah, oh, okay. A, a turret that nets things. That's pretty cool. Uh, thumper turret. I don't know, like a stomp thing, I guess. Um, elixir S. A shrinking elixir. <laughs> Bomb kit. Oh yeah, that's what I want. That replaces all my stuff. There, there we have another one, right? Flame turret. Oh yes. Yes! I was looking for that. Oh, yes guys, we're going to check this out now. Rocket boots. Uh, personal battering ram. <laughs> and radiation field. Well, I'm going for the flamethrower. I was wondering where that was, because I saw someone had that in the previous beta. And I, I couldn't figure out where, because I couldn't... You know, I, I, didn't, I didn't know these things at that time. I didn't know that you could change all your skills based on this. So, flamethrower kit. What do I have? Uh, incendiary armor. Ammo. Incendiary ammo. 
my next three attacks. That's like the one I don't I have without changing stuff. Let's find some enemies. There's one. So all my Ooh -hoo -hoo! Did you see the damage on that? 399! Dang! <laughs> oh god! I'm level 8! What's going on here? Okay, let's change to flamethrower kits. What do we have? Flame jet, there's a cone. While on the move. Nice. <laughs> uh, oh, it's const. I ha it's no cooldown. Sweet. <laughs> oh, need some light. Let's have a look at this flamethrower. See, so, yeah, now I have a, like a tank on my back. And <laughs> All right. Yeah, this I like. This I absolutely like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, flame Blast, Name Palm Ball, that rolls through foes and explodes. Air Blast, push back foes and projectiles with hot air blast. Napalm again, burn foes with a wall of napalm at the target location. And Smoke Wind, when smoke from a flamethrower are blinding nearby foes. Let's try the, try these out. Ah, oh, the, the zooming thing! Uh, there we go, okay. This has annoyed me in all the betas so far. So, I'm guessing it's not going to be fixed prior to release. Alright. It's pretty short range these things though, but still. Alright. Try Flame Blast. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Number three. Oh, that was the pushback. Air Blast. That's the wall. Yeah. Walks through it and catches fire. I'm wondering if I shoot through this. Well, that lasted a while. Unlike most of the skills, are that's cool. And finally, smoke wins. Oh, okay. Didn't really test that. Oh yeah. I'm not going to use any other weapon. I just hope these are upgraded uh, alongside the rest of your weapon stats, but which one was it that rolled through Napalm Ball? I'm guessing if there's more enemies Ooh, and more enemies it will sweet. Let's just well that was blind. Not so much really. <laughs> oh yeah, fire. Alright guys, well that's the end of the episode, I don't have time for more here, but uh, I'll see you back for some more, uh, either from this beta or when the game releases, and we'll try to get an informative video out there that, uh, that properly compares The Secret World with Guild Wars 2. Alright, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you around. <laughs>